What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead State. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out a little while longer and try and kill a couple more guys that are already basically knock knock knocking on heaven's door. So there we go, there's another shot down. This guy is shooting us through a wall. We saw that in the previous episode and it was not so great, not so bueno, not so, not so bueno, if you will. So let's just hope that that does not continue to happen. Because that is something that I find to be pretty obnoxious. I'm going to try and just move through the doors right here. There we go. So, oh, there's a guy right there. Did he just teleport? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this persistent state of teleportation that this guy exists in. I think I may respond to this unknown stimuli by shooting him repeatedly with a shotgun. Yes. Acceptable. Definitely acceptable. Acceptable and enjoyable. Let's move everybody. I don't think that I can. I think Paul is probably going to have to go all in on this one. So set that as an active. We'll have him bludgeon a few people. They may resist a lot of the damage, unfortunately. So there's another dead guy. I wanted the NVGs. That's one of the few reasons that I'm actually like coming through here is because I really, really, really want the NVGs. So that if we have to go out on a night raid, which sounds like a super awesome heavy metal band name. Night raid. We are night raid. That's what it sounds like to me. It just does. Every now and again, I hear a word or a combination of words, and I'm like, yep, that's the band name right there. That's the band name. I'm going to leave these guys sitting, though, for right now. And let's continue to canvas the rest of this area, just make sure that we're totally safe. I want to reload everybody, and then we'll also run a little bit of interference on this damage that we took in the previous fight. So if I could drag everybody out to this hallway, let's get everybody on focus mode or follow mode. There we go. Not fuck use mode. Follow mode. And then we'll put a couple on. There we go. We'll band-aid Troy on up. And then it actually, it looks like Tweedle Time's the only person there that needs it any further. We may want to check into the infirmary for a bit after this one. I don't see anybody else on our little, like, group of people down here, but we'll go one more. I kind of want to raid the place where Troy came from as well, but... So that's go downstairs. Can we go upstairs right here? Or is that, like, it for us? No, this can be looted. So do we have to come up from another direction, maybe? No, that one's blocked off, too. So how do we... I guess we just, like, skip this. We must gather our party before venturing forth. Pretty sure we have our party right now, Chief. Pretty sure. I don't know, everybody. We're back at base, and it's, like, the day before. I It auto-saved when we went up in there, and it, over it overwrote the previous auto-save. Super irritated about it right now. Pretty irritated about it. This game has been a never-ending snarl slash tumbleweed of just, like, bugs. And were I playing the game on my own, I would just leave a bad review and not play it anymore. But we're, like, 75 episodes into an LP. And so I basically feel like I can't escape from this game. Like, it won't end on its own. And yet the bugs keep making it just a completely and totally unpleasant experience all the way through. Let's just take a nap. We're never going back to the outskirts of Austin. It's just... whatever. Wheeze, I have to, can't breathe. What's the matter? You don't look so good. I didn't tell you, I hoped it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm out of medicine and I hate this. I have asthma, okay? Really bad asthma, and I ran out of medicine a week ago. I can't breathe or sleep, and it feels like there's a weight on my chest at all times. Pollen or mold or stale air is setting it off. When you ran out of medicine, why didn't you tell me you were taking it? I didn't want to bother you or seem weak, sorry. I need a, damn it, I need a medicine called Adventurol. It's got a chemical in it that prevents asthma, asthma attacks. Alright, I'll check a pharmacy for it. Not everywhere stocks my prescription, I know. From Dallas, local chain didn't carry it. Here I looked at the local clinic near to Splendid in the nurse's office. It's here on your map. They would have it. Alright, I'll get it. Thanks, you don't know what this feels like. I'm really, really sorry I waited to tell you. I, it's getting hard to breathe. I hope you find it soon. Don't worry, I'll talk to you later. I think we already had the asthma medicine. Pretty sure it's up in our inventory already. We've picked up just about every storyline item thus far because we've done a lot of exploration. I want the game to like get to the storyline and like do its thing. Let's see here. Did we vote to give them the food or not give them the food? I can't remember. The military should be back in a day or so. That was it for the day? We had nothing else going on? Okay, that's fine with me. Whatever. Let's go and... I need to drop off some of the stuff. I'm trying to recover right now. Like, the bugs in this game have just been... I try not to focus on negativity in my series, but every now and again I get a game that is just so absurdly buggy that you just, like, you bang your head against a wall and you're just like, why? And there's no reason. There's no reason. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. I'm actually... Let me unload that for right now. And... 
Once that's been unloaded, I'm going to give him an MP5 real fast. I don't want to waste the ammo on things that have a finite value. And one of the things I can tell you is that over time, our 5.56 ammo is going to deplete because it's one of the rarer calibers, or it's one of the rarer casings that we continue to pick up. We don't see it very often. We see a lot of everything else, but the 5.56 NATO we just don't seem to get very much of. And so I typically am tempted just to like leave up oh, there they are. That's exactly what I wanted, some EpiPens, just in case. So now that we got the EpiPens, and did I have anything else on anybody? I think that was everybody though. So Charleston, he's got Charleston's plate mail armor. It gives 100% bite resist. Worn over chainmail, plate mail armor. This is name too. He's got 15 defense, 10% ballistic, 70 slash, 30 bludgeoning, 70 piercing, which is actually really, really rare and unlikely. And he's also got his helmet, which further increases that resist. Now the downside is that it weighs a metric ton. Like 50 pounds is actually not so bad for plate mail. You could function fairly well on 50 pounds, but within the confines of the game, it seems like a lot. Let me go check my job board real fast to make sure that things are getting done that need to get done. So a lot of people have no job, but I don't think we can actually build anything else. The science lab is currently being worked on, and anybody that doesn't have the science skill in order to get that by, so their beakers are just not quite as shiny as we would require them to be, unfortunately, is just like sent off to relaxation time to do whatever they please. People ask me to bring the dog along, but the dog is really, really bad unless you're in the early game. If you're in the early game, the dog's pretty good. But in the late game, the dog, it it's just not a good unit to have because the dog can't wear armor. And so one gunshot is all it takes. And plus, by the end of the game, just about everything is fairly well immune to, like, all forms of bite damage. So unfortunately, not a great character to bring along. We could go back and see if we could deal with... Where was that place at? We had the Militia HQ. I think that was the place right there. We could go back and invade the Militia HQ... And see if we could rescue that girl or not. That was something that I'd been interested in. Although I did just re-equip myself. Or we could go out and we could just gather food the entire day. There's not a whole lot of fields out though. Did I bring along... I don't know if I have the fishing rods or not. We could go out fishing today. Although I think our food is looking pretty good. Let's go to the Militia HQ. Hopefully it's not as buggy as the outskirts of Austin because... I don't know, getting trapped in a stairwell seems to be a pet peeve of mine. I didn't even know that that was a thing that would make me angry, but apparently it is. I think the other issue is that, like, every day before I sit down to record this game, I just, like, mentally prepare myself for whatever's going to happen during it. Because I know it's going to bug out and something ridiculous is going to happen. Like, every single time. Every single time. I'll probably go with, where's our laser-sided rifle at? Laser rifle? You here? Where did it go? It sorted from the top. Oh, we have a sniper rifle, too. Well, hell. Let's take you, then. We'll throw you in there. We'll go back to Vic, who's using a normal hunting rifle. And we shall have Weekter use the sniper rifle, which is pretty sweet. How much damage does that do? 50 to 100? And it's just got really, really good... What's its range? 15? We can engage from 15. That seems... A little bit overpowered, but that's cool. Allow us to pull some mobs from a long ways away. I want to fight these militia dudes, though, and I forgot to put ammo on Troy. Troy, would you like some bullets? Yeah, I bet you would. I gave you a gun. Oh, no, I gave him bullets. Never mind. He's ready to roll. Ready to fire, anyways. Maybe not roll. He doesn't look like he's particularly round. I don't want to be rolled. When I was a kid, we used to, like, roll down hills and stuff with grass, and it would always get you all, like, slashed up by the grass. They're called grass slashes. Now, the grass will actually, I don't know if it's just, like, the type of grass, but one of the worst things I ever, ever had to do in my entire life is I lost a bet, and my buddy made me roll shirtless in the backyard on the grass, and oh my god, like, it, the grass really actually cut up my body. I had an allergic reaction and everything. It was a well-chosen challenge. You spot pecans growing in a yard. I like pecan. Oh, and honey? Well, I mean, we had considered for a moment the possibility of just, like, doing all kinds of fun stuff out here. We'll get him his medicine, by the way, by the end of the day. He'll be okay. He's not gonna die. Okay, he might die, but then again, he's not really that useful of a character anyways. So I'm a little bit tempted to just be like, meh, and not think about it. I don't know. Ancillary characters don't do much for me. Start harvesting. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can out of these. Like 50, 60 extra food before we go in and raid this militia HQ. I wonder if we'll get like down karma for it. Or I guess if we'll get down to morale from going back here. Ooh, more mushrooms? Yes, please. 
I like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Portobello's, whatever. Just like fry them up, slice them up, saute them up, and throw them in any food ever. Love mushrooms. We only got seven mushrooms in it. That seems like it wasn't really worth the time expenditure, was it? Let's go back in here and we'll see if maybe we can kick off a fight to save that girl. I'd rather fight my way in from the outside because where they had us before, we were super surrounded and it did not sound good. And as I recall, we didn't have our bullet armor on either, like we weren't ready to take shots. So now that we're ready to get our drink on, I think we might have a better chance. What's going to happen if I come back over here? You here to see Jefferson. Can I just jump him though, like from right here? Looks like they've got militia archers. I don't feel, I don't like that room right there that they start you in when you get into that fight. Like it's so open and like just ready for you to be annihilated. It's not a good room to fight in. It takes him 8 AP to fire that thing. Wow, that thing. Oh, it doesn't deal any more damage either, which I wish that it did. Get ourselves reloaded. We may have to veto this one for a little bit. I'd like to fight with them, but until we figure out a better plan... It may not work out so great for us. You start out in a room. Essentially, the thing that I'm worried about, in case you didn't see the episode where we confronted these guys, is that they put you in a room where you're surrounded, and they have a bunch of shield bearers and stuff, too, like guys that have really, really good resist and are probably going to be quite difficult to take out, and so the whole thing takes on sort of this this tenor o terror that I can't really do much about. Let's kind of, like, wander around out here by the 83. I may have come down here already, but edible insects. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to come. We got an oil refinery. That might not be a bad plan. An oil refinery might have all kinds of good stuff for us to use. I don't really know how to utilize half the things in an oil refinery, but hey, there's oil refiners around where I live. A bunch of them, in fact. A ton of them down by Martinez. Who are you? Unless you have business with the Suns, I suggest you keep moving. What is going on right here? So we have Vic Castillo. We have Troy Cooper. I guess we'll go with Vic. Let me check. Come with me. Castillo. Nash. I should have known you'd come crawling around here at some point. Believe me, the last thing I wanted to see today is that smug face of yours. You hard-headed son of a bitch. It's good to see you alive and well, so what can I do for your group, Vic? That's what you're here for, right? We need... I don't know. We don't really need anything from right here. Who's the leader of the Texas Suns? Hmm... I did get them to offer you a position. You could have you could have been sitting pretty here with me. You know why I couldn't do that. You never could stop being a cop, could you? All right, Vic, for you I'll set up a meeting. They're in Fredericksburg here. Let me show you. And do I have to say it? Don't do anything stupid or Jefferson will kill you and there won't be a thing I can do about it. Take care of your business and get back to Splendid as quickly as possible. I appreciate this, Nash. Anything else I can do for you, Vic? I... we need information, I guess? I might have some. What well, can you tell us about your numbers? You know I can't do that. You still being run by the Claude brothers? That's no secret. Look, Vic, for the sake of your group, you're better off leaving them alone. We all know about your school in Splendid, and we don't care. Leave our territory alone, and you won't have a problem. You heard anything about the rest of the country? We're more concerned about our territory. All I know is, if you were ever in the market for land, you're gonna have your pick of properties after those stiffs rot right away. You know anything about the military in this area? All too well. Since the Suns are sitting on the biggest food and fuel supplies in the state, we've been hit several times by soldiers, and you didn't do anything to provoke them. We protected what was rightfully ours. Now you know I don't care much for the government before, but these soldiers that are left, they're nothing but more thugs. You'd be wise to watch out for them. Looking for places to hit for supplies, you know of any? I do have something that might that might be worth it to you, and if it was any use to you, you'd have already hit it. You know me too well. Alright, Vic, over in Eastland, there's an intact bullseye store. Don't know what's in it, but it's not worth the trip for us to find out. It's all yours if you're feeling lucky. Eastland, huh? Maybe if we get desperate. Huh, well I guess that's it, I don't know. You loot, we shoot. Okay. Seems to be a lot of these locations, and I'd rather there be more interaction. Like, there should have been, like, reputation meters between all these different factions and things like that, where occasionally you would brush heads, and based on the way that you, like, solve those situations, you go up or down on the old reputation meter, which would then lead to declarations of war, and then you could control little areas in the map. Lots of cool stuff they could have done with this game, but unfortunately, they probably had constraints of a financial type. What is that right there? Larva? Yeah, I don't really need any larvae right now. Larvae are not sounding good for me. Let's just go back to Splendid. I don't think we're going to hit anything out here. 
Another day going by. I'm trying to get to where we interact with the military one more time. Are the guys pretending to be the military? I'm pretty sure they are not actually military. They don't strike me as particularly military, but anyways. Let's go ahead and rest out for the night. And when they come by, we'll let them know that we ain't got nothing for them. And hopefully, oh, let me give him the asthma medication before he dies in his sleep or something. Bring this back over here, and then everybody's gonna be all mad at me like Tweedle time. It was sitting on the shelf in this room. Why couldn't you just go give it to him? And I was like, well, I was busy with stuff. So, you know. Asthma medication. There it is. Let's get him running on down this way. He's got his little shooting buff right now. Hey! I brought you your medication. Thanks, I already feel better. This should last a while, too. Sorry again about not telling you. It was just embarrassing. I hate feeling helpless. I just want to contribute like everybody else. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll talk later. There's no point guilt tripping. The I mean, he's not a kid. He's 17 years old. Medieval times or any other time, he would have been a fully fledged adult by the age of 14 or 15. And we're sort of like falling back to those societal rules right now. Anyways, there's no need to like berate the poor guy for it. It is what it is. Just move forward. I believe I have a plan that will make this place, how shall we say, unstoppable. I definitely want to hear your idea. Try to follow along. We have a problem with the dead mashing around the fence. They've tried to kill people, but not animals. So, all we need to do is train animals to patrol and kill dead people along the fence. We find a zoo, grab a couple elephants, bears, and tigers. Boom. No more fence problems. Watch and wait it out, society comes back, and who's got the only trained animals? Us. And then we cash in from having the only circus left in the world. Flawless. That's a great plan, Doug. Let me think about how to execute it. What part did you like best? The animals along the fence. Yes, well, I should start looking up zoos in the area. I'll let you know when I find one. Maybe an aquarium, too. I have designs for a moat, and as everyone knows, if you save a starving whale, it owes you a life debt. Sergeant Hartz is waiting for you at the gate. Hello again. I take it you've made a decision? We can't spare much, but if you can get us rescued, it's yours. I see, it's not what we need, but I realize times are tough all over. You folks are making an effort to assist us, and that what counts. I'll tell you what, we'll take what you have, and I will personally see to it that the Brass gets an evac team here within a month. How's that sound? Alright, well we can hold the school until the team gets here. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try and get them here within three weeks. Well, time's wasting. The sooner we get back, the faster we'll have you out of here. Until then, you be careful out here. See you in the quarantine zone. Hey, I was just thinking about it. I probably shouldn't have just ditched Alan back there. See, he's, well, it's complicated, but he took our van and said he was driving out to Austin to look for help. Not the smartest plan, I guess, but he was trying in his way. It's been a week. He might have been back, but I just have this feeling, so... Do you think you'd go back to the bar and check? I just need to know. Yeah, we'll go back to the bar. Cool, I'd rather you bring him back. Might be weird with me leaving him, leaving without him and all, but... Got a few things I need to tell him, but I'd rather do it when he's back. We should probably try and get back there within a week. He's not really good on his own, so I'm thinking he should go as soon as possible. Hey, it's hot. I'm bored and having a shitty day. You, uh, wanna fuck? Wait, well, a freebie? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I follow the if-it's-there principle, and so this is definitely an if-it's-there moment. Yes, yes, I do. Then let's head to your... We're already in my room, genius. All right, so never mind. She's not much for brains. And before you get any ideas, this is a one-time thing. I just need this right now, so don't get clingy. Well, what are you standing there for? Let's do this. Hooray! Got a quick suggestion for you. It wouldn't be a CRPG unless you got laid at least once. Got a quick suggestion for you. I was just thinking about the last vacation with my wife. It was this place over in Lake Buchanan. It's a bit out of the way, so it might still have some meat on the bones. Had a hell of a buffet, so probably food stores, not to mention soap, teepee, that kind of thing. Made a note on your map. I'll check it out. I'd rather not go back there if it's all the same to you. Too many good memories. Understood, I'll get back to you. Cough, I, cough, I, cough. Damn it, I've got this cough. God damn it, tickling my throat that I can't shake. Think I'm gonna have to sit this one out. Lights a cigarette and takes a drag. Alright, well, I really needed your help, but take a day to recover. I'm gonna need you at full strength tomorrow. Plus, you gave us a freebie, so that's pretty cool. Absolutely, I'd rather work a hundred days in a row than deal with this cough again. I'll see you later. Ah, hey, last night it was dark and I slipped on the way out of the bathroom and fell face forward into the edge of a sink. Banged it up pretty bad, my eyes starting to swell up. Not sure I can get much done today. We gotta take care of that. Get healed up so you be fresh for tomorrow. I think you're more worried about it than I am. Thanks a lot for the understanding. I'll get it taken care of and get it up for tomorrow. 
All right, and yeah, I did say get it up for tomorrow. I totally did. Well, we nailed a freebie. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I mean, why not? If it's all consensual, sure. I ain't got to run it by me more than once. You take what you can get in the apocalypse, and we've been here for like 50 days. That's rough. Starting to develop calluses here. Not so bueno. Oh, I still got extra medicine on me, but I don't feel like going back to unload it. So we got to go back to the Dublin bar is what they wanted to see if her buddy was there, I guess, her manager. Let's hike on out there, and once we get out there, we'll take a look, and then maybe we'll hit the... There's the Bear Arms gun store. I wanted to see where that other place was that the guy had, too, where he was talking about... I forget what it was called, the Bullseye or whatever it is. I think we already went there, though. Didn't we already hit a Bullseye? Pretty sure we already hit the Bullseye store. Oh, Alan's a zombie. Sucks to be Alan today. Well, Alan, I'd like you to meet my nightstick. Sorry, buddy. He's got a MP3 player and a personal letter addressed to Agro Moss. The man who wrote the letter apologizes for getting bit while looking for safety in Austin. He doesn't know what happened to his ex-wife, but apparently he still loved her and wanted her to know before he died. Alright, don't really need the MP3 player, so I'm just going to leave that here. We've already got more than enough of those. All the way back we go. No, we're not going to go all the way back to Shell. We're not going to go all the way back to Splendid. I'm just messing with you. But for right now, I was kind of like not messing with you, but then my brain sort of like thought about it and ran the arithmetic of the situation and the numbers weren't adding up. So I think the bullseye that he was talking about, we already hit. It's like one of these. Yeah, it's the bullseye right there. And if you hadn't hit that one by this point in the game, I don't know how you missed it. Unless it's another one out here, but I don't think it is. I'm looking for... Oh, there's an Abilene bullseye right there. Let's go out to the Bear Arms gun store. That seems pretty cool. Seems like the kind of place where we could... The I-20 rest stop, though. We're already out here. Let's hit the I-20 rest stop real fast because sometimes interesting stuff happens at these places. Is Agro Moss, like, super famous in this world? Because we may have just slept with, like, the equivalent of, like... I don't know. Who's a famous... Who's a famous singer right now? Hmm. Nick Jonas? Cool. We just totally slept with Nick Jonas. Awesome! <laughs> Oh, man. That song, like, plays endlessly out here at the bay. But they play, like, this remix version with this Bay Area female singer. I don't know if they're playing, like, remixes in other places, but they're totally... Like, Bay, bay Area music is weird like that, where, like, the Bay Area music scene, like, sticks together, basically. And so they'll edit songs, and they'll, like, get the royalties, and they'll edit in, like, essentially... They'll add in, like, Bay Area singers and Bay Area rappers to songs that are already, like, really popular on the charts. And it seems to work out okay. I don't know. The Bay Area's got, like, its own, like, self-contained music scene. And so while a lot of people don't like, like, Bay Area rap and stuff like that, because definitely the hyphy movement, I think, takes a little bit of acclimatization. You gotta, it, you gotta acclimate to, to the hyphy movement, I think. It's kind of like getting used to crunk. You just gotta get used to it for a while if you're into, especially if you're into, like, East Coast rap, like, New York stuff. Stuff out of Brooklyn and the Bronx and whatnot. It's a little bit of a culture shock. But anyways, we're basically out of time right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dead State. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, hi-do.